A thousand days is not an update, my ass. The team at creators.tf has brought us a brand new update with new weapons, maps, cosmetics, and general server changes. The classful event brings us 19 new cosmetics that you can obtain for free by completing contracts in the contractor. And while I probably won't use some of them, they sure as hell look amazing, and especially since they're free, I highly recommend you get your hands on them. Three new maps have been added to the server rotation. Data Bank, a King of the Hill map set in a data center, which looks pretty good and haven't had a chance to play on it. Rumble, a control point map with a very Somnolesque look, once again, looks pretty cool, but I haven't gotten a chance to play on it. Sludge Pit, a map I actually have played, which is a very weird, weirdly shaped, but still really fun payload map with very... It's a very Vigil-esque map, that's really the only way I can describe it. It's fun, I recommend you play on it. All of these are sure to be great additions to the map pool, and with other maps such as Suijin and Powerhouse leaving the map pool, the servers will be rotating better maps most of the time, thank the lord. We got three new weapons this time. I Actually, technically two, since one is just a reskin, but, you know, three new things to play with. Uh, the Wasp Launcher is a weird-looking primary for Soldier, which sports a larger explosion radius for the downside of, well, slightly less damage. And projectile speed. That extra explosion radius, actually, is really, really useful. It makes killing people way easier. Even though you're going to be doing slightly less damage, I highly recommend you actually use this weapon because it's really fun. The Carved Cutter is just a melee reskin for Spy, and while it looks pretty cool, it's still a reskin, so take that as you will. The Bolshevik Bomber, though, is a secondary shotgun for Heavy that sports an extra 25% damage and makes people go splat. I can't see it because I have particles off, but I will show you a clip of it because it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, it does shoot slower, has less ammo in the clip, and uh, I think it deploys slower or something, which that's not really a downside because you can kind of bug that, but whatever. It's still pretty cool. And I uh, can't wait till everyone gets it, and I'll be fighting five fat scouts per round, all using this thing and making my entire team go splat. The previous weapons also got some balance changes. The thumper was nerfed, bringing its extra damage down from 130% to 110%. The gamma gazer has been reworked, reducing the fragging potential of the weapon, which kind of sucks because I liked killing people with it, but giving it the fucking rescue ranger ability to pick up buildings from any range, which, wow, that was, that was, that's an upgrade. I'm not, I'm not an NG player, but that's a really cool upgrade. The hypodermic injector though, uh, it can now store up to 500 health, it recharges like a regular weapon and applies 1.5 seconds to your current uber when hitting a teammate which is fucking crazy you can literally just apply uber to people for free essentially which is kind of crazy it really makes this thing a lot different than i uh said in my guide which i'm now gonna have to redo but that sucks but uh, uh. it does also swing slower and does a bit less damage now so but i mean 1.5 seconds of any uber of your choosing is kind of crazy so overall these new weapons looked amazing and the balance changes look pretty crazy too i'm looking forward to testing them all out last thing they added were strange of so allowing you to make the creators.tf weapons and cosmetics you obtain strange which is pretty cool they also redid the inventory layout which is a neat quality of life change but the stranges are the main highlight here because we all love strange weapons you know you do now they're gonna add hopefully kill streaks next hopefully Please, I want kill streaks. Overall, this update is fucking amazing, even though it's relatively small. Uh, while we're in this dead period of TF2, seeing updates like this being produced by independent teams, plus the content they put out is always fucking stellar. I really encourage you to go hop on these servers and get the new weapons and test them out for yourself. Oh, oh, oh one more thing, one more thing. I know I haven't uploaded in like a month, but fear not, I am working on something. I'm like, kinda like 20% done with it. Kinda slow, but I'm working on it. It's a big pretty big project, but uh, this update decided to reroute head in, and well now, I have a lot more projects to work on, so guess that'll keep me busy for the rest of the summer, but you know, I'll be putting out content soon, so stay tuned. Uh, that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Go play in the service now.